On 27th of July 1991, the death centenary of Raja Rajendralal Mitro, the great oriental scholar and a pioneer in popular studies of science, was observed by various organizations and learned bodies. The Indian Museum organized a seminar and exhibition on the life and work of this dynamic personality. People came and paid their tributes through speeches. Even hundred years after his death, his contribution in the twin fields of science and arts remains unparalleled. His was an immortal destiny. A scion of the aristocratic Mitro family of Sura, an eastern suburb of Calcutta, Rajendralal Mitro was born on February 16, 1822. He was the third son of John Mijoy and 23rd in the ancestral line starting from Kalidasa who came from Kanauj. Rajendralal passed away on July 26, 1891 at Manikdala Street. About a thousand years ago, the Mitras came from Kanauj and their descendants have ever since been reckoned among the gentry of the land, holding high titles and offices of trust from time to time. Rajendralal showed signs of promise from his childhood. In the year 1837, as a boy of only 15, Rajendra was admitted to the Calcutta Medical College. During four years of medical studies, he left his mark as a keen student and won prizes and distinction for his outstanding merit. He also took to the study of law for a short while. Dwarkanath Tagore wanted to send him to England for higher studies but, due to his family's objections, he couldn't accept the offer. The year 1846 was a landmark in the life of Rajendralal Mitro when he came to be associated with the Asiatic Society as its assistant secretary and librarian. A chronological account of his association with the society starting as an assistant secretary and librarian in 1884 and leading to the vice presidentship till 1891. Rajendralal had contributed more than 100 articles on antiquities, history, language, literature, religion, different manners and customs to the journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal. 
in the Bibliotheca Indica, a number of his critical editions of early Indian texts were published. He was a pioneer in popularizing science in Bengal through his periodicals and books such as Vividhartha Sangraha, Rahasya Sandarbha and Shilpik Darshan. He strove to nourish the scientific curiosity of the people of Bengal. His particular interest was in the earth and in the life sciences. Articles on the silk, soap, glass and cloth industries, on the classification of animal kingdom and on such living organisms as the toad, fish, birds, on plants and flowers, on anthropography and prehistoric animals were published in this journal. The poet Rabindranath Tagore admired his versatility and described him as Shubhushati. As a young boy, Rabindranath read with rapt attention the articles published by Rajendralal in the pages of Vividhartha Sangraha. Professor Max Muller had a high regard for Rajendralal and he once wrote, Rajendralal is a Pandit by profession but at the same time a scholar and critic in our sense of the word. After his demise, Sir A. W. Croft, the then Vice-Chancellor of the Calcutta University, paid his homage to Rajendralal, saying, It is not only within the walls of this society, or even in Bengal, that his loss will be felt. It will be felt throughout Europe, for wherever learning is cultivated, there the name of Rajendralal Mitro would be held in honor.